Happy Friday, everyone. It's going to be a three-minute review because I want to start with something really special. And if you've recognized this bottle here, you shouldn't be surprised. This is uh, Anchor's Christmas beer, and it's honestly one of my favorites. It certainly marks the holiday season for me. And if you missed it, last year I actually talked with Scott from Anchor, uh, their head brewer, and we went all over uh, this beer, its tradition, etc. So check that out uh, back on the channel, and I'll try to link it here in this video. But the reason that I bring it up today is, as you can tell, uh, this is my 2019 bottle that has been emptied. And that happens every year. I usually buy a Magnum uh, because I like the bigger volume of it. Uh, and then I'll go buy a Sixer if I need another one. Or sometimes I will come up with, uh, with another Magnum. They're not distributed that often in Colorado, so I don't get them that often. But I got lucky today on a Friday uh, when I happened to go into one of my uh, local bottle shops that has a tendency to have some more disparate beers. I got really lucky because they cleaned out their back private reserve from their previous owner. It's a bottle shop that's been sold recently. And what they brought out for me really made my season so far. Because now I get to go back in time a little bit with a 17 which is, again, this beer is, is their special ale. It's really, really unique every year. They change the hops. They change the malt profile. It builds upon itself. And to have uh, a little bit back in time from my 2019, 2020 should be here shortly. Uh, but this is a beer I've been drinking back since the 90s. And then on top of being able to go back a couple of years, especially I like the odd years for some reason, then they did me an even bigger favor and brought this guy out. So now... We have a vertical, and this one even came with the uh, the Christmas tag. But now we have a vertical from 15 to 17. Uh, 19, obviously, I can't taste any longer because that one's empty. But 20 will be here soon. I'll do another tasting, and if I can get Mike squared away, we might even do a vertical for you here. Uh, but this is certainly... Uh, a time of year that I really dig, and this is an exciting piece. I had another video for you today, but I think I decided just to let it go because it is just so unique to find these bottles. Having been in uh, a 50 degree, I'm sorry, 48 degree cooler for going on five seasons now, and to be able to purchase them new, uh, quite frankly, was a heck of a deal. Uh, was really a unique find, and I wanted to share it with you. If and when you see this, which should be starting roughly the next week or so, uh, usually I get my first one right after Thanksgiving. Uh, give this a try. You won't be sorry. And I'm really excited to see what they do with the 2020 version. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, we have more coming for you. A lot of conversations and topics. Next up, you should see fermentation vessels that we had a long discussion about. Um, and from us to you, Everyone at RGR Craft, our families, as well as Mike and I, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I know it's different this year, but have a beer, and hopefully that will help it be better. Take care. Thanks for watching this one. Make sure you like and subscribe and everything else, and we'll talk to you next week.